Hello and welcome to another Vlogtober video. This is episode number eight, I think. Uh, my name is Anakin and if you are new here, then welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, then uh, thank you very much for joining me again. Joining me again and you are welcome as well. If you haven't uh, subscribed yet, then please consider subscribing and please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. So it's been, we've had some a really lovely weekend, really lovely weather. I'm going to share some videos from this weekend with you. And, but today is really horrible. It's grey, it's wet, I got completely soaked walking the dog this morning. I had to change my top, my trousers, my hair was completely soaked, so I look a bit of a mess. But So I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching. tip when you're casting on a lot of stitches and you find it difficult to count is to put a marker in. I put a marker in after every 50 stitches, so I cast on 50, put a marker in, cast on another 50, put a marker in, cast on another 50, and I cast on, count while I cast on, then I count, go back and double count it to make sure, and then I get one of these padlock markers because they're big enough to go around my double needles. I cast on using the long tail cast on and I always hold two needles together because I find it easier to knit through the first row. Once I finish casting on with all my two needles, I pull one needle out and then I start knitting.
So I've had a few things arrive, so I thought I would share a few of the things that have arrived. First, I was teaching at uh, Wool on the X on Saturday. I didn't film anything this time because I filmed quite a bit there last week when I was there. Um, I meant to actually film some of the actual workshop and then I forgot. Um, I did buy something, not a lot, uh, no yarn this time, but I did get this really fluffy pom-pom. So this is from Toft. Um, they do, on the back it says, six interchangeable colourful pom-poms to brighten up your winter wardrobe. So, you know, you buy one at a time if you want to, you can buy all of them. Um, it's 100% alpaca and it's so fluffy and so soft. I've had uh, alpaca pom-poms from, from them before, they're grey one. Let me just grab it. So on my linear hat, which is a few years old now, um, I have a fluffy uh, grey pom-pom. So this pom-pom just came with like a string and you have to sew it on and it was a little bit difficult and it is not right up to my hat. You see that? So it's kind of a little bit floppy but I like it uh, because it's natural alpaca. When it rains it goes a little bit kind of crinkly. But I think it's really cute. This one actually comes on a snap thing so you I'm not going to take it off um, because there we go. So it comes on a snap like that that you sew on. So you sew this onto your hat, which is a lot easier. And then you can snap this pom-pom on and you can um, mix and match from the others in the range. I don't know whether natural grey ones are also part, uh, sold this way now, because it was a few years ago since I bought that one. But I think that's really useful because it means that if you're going to wash it, you can take it off. And also if it's raining, you can take it off. Um, so I do like that. I do fancy getting some of the other colours, but we'll see how many hats I knit this winter first. But I do want to knit a hat with a pom-pom. I have a yarn in mind, um, so watch out for that in the next few weeks. It might be November by the time I get around to it, because i got a lot on the needles at the moment. But this is just so soft, it's unbelievable. And then also, arriving this morning was this thing. So this is a leather strap. It's from yarnistry i'll put the link below and it's basically to keep your um shawl on so i'm not going to unscrew it but it unscrews here this this thing unscrews and then you can adjust it how big you want it i don't want to unscrew it but I'll see if i can show you how it works so this is a shawl that was in um simply knitting a few months ago and i'm actually going to self-publish this soon i should have done the edits for the pattern this morning my tech editor has had a look at it and I meant to do the, go through the edits this morning, but I overslept for about an hour, so that hasn't happened. So basically, if I put this around, what you do, I don't know, I don't know whether this looks that great, but um, you can basically, you can unscrew it and then put it on, or I'm just going to pull it through. You basically just pull it through to keep your shawl in place. So it's instead of a shawl pin, and you can make it different sizes, so you can go a little bit smaller than that um wasn't a very good demo but you kind of get the idea so i'll put the links up below they did add other colors i love this hot pink if i like it and i use it a lot i might get some other colors but i thought i'd get my favorite color first and see whether i use it or not i wish this came as a bracelet as well because that would be perfect so quite excited about that <laughs>
has a yarn arrive i'm going to be on yarn lane tv on saturday which i think is the 23rd um not sure where i was looking at my computer because i don't have my calendar up there but i think it's the 23rd it's this saturday i will put the link and all the details below we are doing three patterns uh two hats and a cow so we are doing the linear hat and we're doing the henwood hat and we're doing the Cadbury cow so what's going to happen is uh, we couldn't get hold of the yarns that I use for these samples because of shipping problems everything coming from Europe is taking forever at the moment and the yarns I use for these are all Lang and they're um, Swiss I think German or Swiss can't remember but they it was going to take too long to get them here basically so we had to choose some different yarns and i'm really excited by the yarns we've chosen and um, we've gone for west yorkshire spinners which is one of my favorite british companies so let me show you i'm not sure if i'm allowed to tell you this but i will do anyway so for the henwood hat which is worked from the top down so on saturday i will demonstrate a few techniques including how to start the henwood hat from the top down and then I'm also going to show you how to knit the um, I-cord cast off at the bottom here, which I love. Um, it's also got some beaded lace knitting on there. And we're going to do that hat in these two colorways. So you'll be able to buy kits if you watch it on Saturday or if you go on their website. Um, some kits may sell out during the show, some may not. So you might, if you can't watch it live, you might be able to uh, buy it later. You can watch it live on in the UK on Sky and Freeview. I can't remember the channels now but I'll put that below um or on their website so wherever you are in the world you can go to yarn lane I think it's yarnlane.com but I'll put the link below and you can watch it live um and you can buy the kits so for the henwood hat which is that one we're going for these two so this is the West Yorkshire Sing Spinners signature for ply um silent night sparkle I think it's called um yeah silent night sparkle it's got a lovely little sparkle in it um it's the christmas color from last year but it's still available i love that colorway um and then we're also going for the um signature four ply sandra rhodes uh, one of the new sandra rhodes colorways and this is sandra's rainbow i love those colors this is a brand new yarn so i'm really excited that we're allowed to use that so those are the ones we're doing for the henwood hat and for the linear hat we are, which has got, uh, this one's worked from the bottom up with a lacy rib and then it's got beads added to the stocking stitch section and the beads are added using a crochet hook. Um, I don't know whether the pom-poms are included in the kit, I don't think so, but this hat we've chosen to go for this colourway which is West Yorkshire Spinner's Signature Four Ply. It's black currant bomb, it's one of my favourite colours out of all their solid colours in the Signature Four Ply range. I think it's beautiful this one was actually already in my stash as was this one and um, i have two of this colorway uh, and then we're also going to go for poppy seed which is a kind of medium gray colorway um we've also gone for beads and i can't remember what color beads we're going with those so you'll have to watch to see what beads we've chosen but uh, if you want something a bit more neutral or bright and um, so those are what we're using for that one and then for the Cloudberry cow. So I'm going to show you how to knit with two colours. Just a little crash course and just talk about this cow a little bit. It's an awful lot to fit in in an hour because obviously they have to talk about the kits as well. The presenter is going to be John, I think, and it's at 12 o'clock on Saturday in UK time. So we're going to do the Cloudberry kit in um, West Yorkshire Spinners Exquisite Four Ply, which is a little bit more luxurious. So that is uh 80 percent falconing wool and 20 percent mulberry silk so it's really luxurious and we're going to do it in these two colorways which is um regal and knightsbridge i already have that color in my stash actually i plan to do a shawl with a dark gray one um so those two and then these two um which is bordeaux and wisteria i thought the wisteria was slightly lighter actually so but really like those two colors i think they will look nice together um so yes so that's going to be on yarn lane on saturday i'll put the link below 
so if you can join me please do if you can watch it live you can watch it online and um if you watch it live you can also send a message to the studio so if you want to ask me a question or send me a message please do it's lovely to hear from people watching because then i know somebody's watching so please do that if you are able to watch live so that's 12 o'clock noon on saturday mm -hmm.